Hey, this is Vance Morris with Deliver Service Now. And, you know, I got to tell you something. Just because you call something luxury or call something what you think it is, you better be able to deliver. Now, this past weekend, I had the privilege of hosting my mastermind group here in, in my hometown. Normally, we go around the country. There's, we have uh, six of us in our mastermind group. If you don't have one, I strongly suggest you get one. Um, but it was my turn to host uh, the guys here in my area, and we were at Annapolis. And I booked what I thought was a pretty swanky hotel. Uh, it's about a five-minute walk from the Naval Academy. Uh, beautiful, historic hotel. I mean, you know, probably from the early 1700s. Charming, great. Um, but, and it was supposed to be in the luxury category. But where they really fell short was in the people. You need people to make a building come alive, to make a building vibrant, and to make your business whatever definition of it is that you want. In this case, they were defining it as luxury. Now, unfortunately, no one had a clue as to what was going on. Um, I mean, there was not a supervisor around within shouting distance of the entire place. I never saw in the three days we were there, we never saw a supervisor. Uh, the front desk people were clueless. Um, you know, they couldn't find our group code to get my guys checked in um, and tried to charge them full rack rate. Um, the front desk hostess, when she tried to finally figure it out, um, said in a really meek voice, oops, wrong button. And it just went downhill from there. Our catering sales manager, I mean, he was just clueless. He was a mess. Um, honestly, they need to buy him a new pair of shoes because the shoes he was wearing were ripped in the back. Um, you know, very slow in response. Wanted his deposit even before we knew how much we were going to be charged. Um, the sales department was just a disaster. The valet, unfortunately, was the worst part of the experience. We were sitting on the front porch of the hotel and we were having um, a couple of beers and a smoky treat. And we watched the valets bring the people to the front of the hotel to put them, put, to put them up. Well, each time they came in, they made the guests carry their own bags. And then made the guests put their bags down to use their own key to get in the front door. We even overheard the valet say, you need your key to get in the front door. Instead of the valet using his master key to get in, he made the guests carry their own stuff, their own luggage up about 10 steps to uh, the hotel front door. Now, this, this was just bonkers. I'm sorry the dog's barking, but hey, he, this adds a touch of realism to, uh, to the video. Of course, housekeeping was also uh, woefully absent. As I mentioned, we were sitting out on the front porch uh, having, uh, having our beers and smoky treats, and um, they didn't have any ashtrays out there, but they did have one of those big, wonkin', uh, tall, long uh, cigarette urns uh, where you just barely small enough hole for a cigarette. Obviously, our cigars didn't fit in there, so we took the lid off, and we used the bucket for our empty beer bottles and our ashes. The next morning, we came down. And the front porch was still a mess. You could not tell that anybody had been through there. Our empties were still there. The chairs were all rearranged the way we had them. Um, it was a disaster. And when we got into our meeting, and I, the reason I say luxury hotel is because if you look at this cup, which, you know, just because it says luxury on the cup, this is a plastic cup, and it's got the word luxury on it. Does anybody see the incongruency here, no congruency whatsoever. Um, actually, and I wasn't even the one that pointed this out. My uh, One of my um, mastermind members pointed this out. So just because it says luxury doesn't mean it is. And if you're going to say it's luxury, don't put out a plastic cup. It's ridiculous. So the next night, we had our customary sit down at the... Um, uh, on the front porch, we had a couple more beers. We filled the bucket to the brim with empties, um, and we used our ashes. And then there was actually some other folks out there uh, following suit with what we were doing. And the next morning, we came out there, and it was still the same. Everything was a mess. The beer bottles were overflowing. There was ashes. It was just really, you know, 
kind of kind of a mess. Um, and I just don't understand why nobody was assigned to take care of the front porch. You would think it would have been on some housekeeper's checklist to check it, or a manager walking through within the three days we were there would have noticed this little mess that we had left. I mean, how can this be? This is a luxury, supposed luxury resort. No one was focused on the details of service. No one in management is inspecting their own property. And the higher up muckety mucks, I mean, they are just as much to blame. They are just as negligent in their duties as well as the hourly employees. Maybe even more so because they're not telling the employees what the expectations are of the resort. Now, a question for you is, is this happening in your business? I bet that it is. Maybe not to the level of slothfulness and laziness at this resort, but you should probably go and check just the same. Uh, you never know what you might find. So until next time, remember you won't profit unless you implement. My name is Vance Morris with Deliver Service Now. And if you ever need anything, uh, I actually do have one opening left this year for uh, some speaking uh, later this fall. So uh, feel free to check the website for availability and I can help you out from there. So I hope you have a fantastic day and hopefully this little tidbit of service will help you and your business.